this week's podcast. My name is Tim Weigel. I'm the Grape and Hops IPM Specialist with the New York State IPM Program and also the team leader with the Lake Erie Regional Grape Program. It is actually Friday, January 25th. It's a nice Western New York day and all the schools pretty much are closed in Western New York due to uh, whiteout conditions. We have lake effect snow going on and we're trying to put the podcast together and I was thinking what can we talk about and then I looked at my desk and I saw the new New York State IPM annual report with spotted lanternfly on the front and if you'd like a copy of this it's actually a calendar and annual report all in one um, stop by my office here in Portland New York at the Cornell Lake Erie Research and Extension Laboratory and I'd be happy to give you one but Seeing that spotted lanternfly on the front made me think, we talked a lot about spotted lanternfly, we did a number of podcasts, we talked about it at coffee pot meetings, um, really concentrated on spotted lanternfly and haven't talked about it for a while. But the threat of spotted lanternfly has not gone away, even with below zero temperatures, with the snow piling up, um, we still have to be vigilant to try and keep spotted lanternfly out of New York State. Um, we found more spotted lanternfly this year in 2018 um, we found it in eight counties but they were not infestations did surveys to try in the new york state ag and markets new york state dec did surveys to see if infestations were there what they found was that it was typically um, individuals it was a hitchhike situation where the adults or an egg mass would come in with materials or a vehicle from the quarantine areas and so right now there's no known infestations but it should give us the heightened alert that it's not if but when we're going to see spotted lanternfly here so why are we talking about spotted lanternfly in the middle of the winter when the snow's blowing the temperatures are cold because we still have to keep a lookout for egg masses um, spotted lanternfly the female will lay up to two egg masses a year and there's between 30 and 60 eggs per egg mass so it wouldn't take much it'd only take one female that um, was ready to lay eggs that hitchhiked her way up here and laid her eggs or you could purchase something from down in the quarantine area have it come up this direction and there's egg masses there so what do we want you to do well go to the new york state ipm website we have fact sheets and we have you know all sorts of good stuff we have bumper stickers you want bumper stickers you want tattoos we have a scraper card that you can use to scrape the egg masses if you find them um, egg masses can be on anything on vehicles on trucks that are coming in equipment that you purchase um, pallets pretty much anything and everything they like rusty metal um, so you have to be careful there if you have friends that are coming up and you're doing some winter camping and they bring the firewood um, make sure you burn it all or check it really close for egg masses and if you do find spotted lanternfly egg masses take a photo of it and send that photo with the location of where you found it and you know you can look on your bumper sticker that you come and pick up from me um, spotted lanternfly at dec.newyork.gov and then they will come out and check that with egg masses you scrape them off you can double bag them, throw them in the trash. Um, freezing them isn't going to help because they are from an area over in Southeast Asia that gets as cold as it does here. Um, so putting them in a freezer is not going to kill the eggs. So just double bag them, smash them up, um, and then throw them away. So if you want to learn more about spotted lanternfly we do have some webinars that are coming up um, the new york state ipm program new york state department of ag and markets is cooperating with the northeast ipm center they're going to be hosting some webinars for us uh, the first webinar is going to be for hops berry and vegetable growers february 26th at 10 a.m um, then we have another one in that afternoon for grape and apple growers or the apple industries um, then Christmas tree growers and nursery greenhouse and landscape industries on March 4th at 10 and 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You can go to the New York State IPM website, the Lake Erie Regional Grape Program website, or the Northeast IPM Center website to get more information on that. 
If you have any questions um, about this podcast or you have suggestions for future podcasts, please leave it in the comment sections below.